last time. I tried to yell, yo, Jack! Let's keep going. Who used the first time access to describe the military alliance during World War II? I don't fucking know. I I don't remember that one in the material. Crud. I need to decide quickly before Rue beats me. Think. Think, Ari, think. Ah, oh, what the fuck? I don't know this shit. Uh, that's Hitler. That is Japanese person, I guess. I don't know who the fuck this is. Benito Mussolini. I know the name Mussolini. Or Mussolini. And Roosevelt's an American person. I forgot the question! Shit! Um. 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 Uh, Roosevelt! The correct answer is Franklin Roosevelt! Said so Rosari. <laughs> damn it! Uh, but the real correct is. Ah, uh, damn it! Mussolini! Shit! Hmm. I was going to pick between Mussolini and Roosevelt. That, that was my thing. Obviously I picked wrong, but whatever. Um, I can feel my breath freezing in there. There's no way that could be right. Correct her. Booty wings. No, 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 no! So. Alright. Let me write down my address. I expect to see you there tomorrow in the main outfit to serve me for one day. Maybe it's better that I lost. Hmm. But, but, but! I don't have a main outfit! I guess I can't do it! I'll talk to you, the drama teacher. I'm sure there's something that would be your size. Her face. <laughs> da da da! You gave your word. Uh, are you backing down now that you've lost? No! I hang my head in low shame. No matter how much this is going to embarrass me for all time, the word of Imperial Princess must be kept. I'd never be able to live it down with myself if I broke it. How am I going to live in myself in the memory tomorrow is a mystery. Oh shit, yo. Ugh! I lift my arm and knock on the door of the small house where Rue lives before dropping in again. I can't do this. Letting my rival see me like this is shameful. Might as well get it over with. I knock three times before I hear a voice. Who is it? At it! Just one second. Uh, please have suddenly gone blind. Am I gonna see her? Oh! Hey, Irie. The awkward silence as she sees the hideous thing I'm wearing sets in. Jess, don't just cock, say something! I didn't think you'd follow through with it. Ooh. Are you doubting me? If I stay, I'm gonna do something. Oh god, I mean it! You better enjoy it because I'm gonna beat you tomorrow! I cannot wait. But there is something more important that needs to be taken care of first. What? We need to get gone to school soon, idiot! I'm not cleaning a room or anything stupid like that. There is it again. Maison's supposed to be respectable. What? I'm sorry. That's not quite it. You're supposed to call me master. <laughs> what? Are you going to go back on your word? I'd hate to think Princess Ari doesn't keep her promises when she loses. I hate him so much right now. Fine! Fine what? Fine! Master! That's better. You make a pretty cute maid, Ari. Ugh! Stop making fun of me! What did you say? Stop making fun of me, Mata! But I'm not making fun of you, Ari. You really are adorable. Especially when you are embarrassed. Let's get going. I don't want to... But Rue grabs my hand and pulls me onto the sidewalk. Oh shit! They're gonna get along to school! I mean, uh, today's the worst day of my life. Between the... Cat calls on the guys and nasty comments on the girls. I spent the entire day being hassled and hackers by the plebs. More than once, I was tempted to just run away from this nasty school. But I refuse. I'm not breaking my word on Rue, no matter how much it stinks. I hate that weak part of me. The part that I can't tough up and fake failure. The opinions of those around me should weaken my resolve. But it does. Ari, could you get me approval from, from the top shelf? That's my da Rue is the only person at the school who hasn't made fun of me from bad. Oh god. Uh, Rue is the only person out of the school who hasn't made me embarrassed today. I expect him to try and make me do all sorts of degrading things, but all he has to do is help with his presidential paperwork. I hand him the paper and proceed to try and straighten up the choker and headband. Um, we've been doing so much running around, I'm feeling exhausted. It's amazing how he keeps it all going. So many clubs and activities demanding his time, but he still manages to have the top scores in the class. Uh, he works long hours, he's still managed to beat someone who sat around reading books most of her life. 
Have I been doing it wrong? Are you alright, Ari? Huh? You just look a bit worn out, that's all. I think my master can do I can do I'm glad to hear my rival can keep up with me. Ari, I'm sorry about today. I thought I could keep up with you! Not that. I meant the conduct of my class. I did not think that they would treat you as harshly as they did. I thought that maybe they would giggle a little bit, laugh a few times, but I never thought they would attempt to verbally abuse you. They didn't know I'm a present! <laughs> yes, uh, sorry. It doesn't matter. They should have treated you with the same respect they afforded me. Why were they? You're the smart one. You're the cool one. You even managed to defeat me at a quiz game. Of course they steal you differently from me. You underestimated yourself. No! I'm also pretty and smart! You just happen to be as good as I am! The idea is unheard of, but are you sure you're alright? I guess I'm a little tired! Well, my lovely maid, how about you go get us a pair of strawberry sodas? Such a gentleman! You really don't fit the role as a subservient maid, Ari, and I don't uh, think I'd like it any other way. Oh shit! He really is a kind of guy. He puts his heart into everything he does. Everyone looks up to him, and with good reason. Rue is handsome, passionate, and determined. Also smart, which I didn't say. Everyone sees me the same way, right? No. Yes. No classmate. There she is. Ha! Huh? Oh no! What are you doing with Rue? What are you talking about? You look at him dressing you like a slut, berating him in public? You make her sick! That I thought. Hand over whatever it is you're using to blackmail him. I'm not blackmailing him! There's no way you'd hang out with a- Oh, wait. Well, 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 I like you! The words sting, but I'm gonna let them- Not gonna- What? Yeah, not gonna let them get better, but they might just- I'm not a widow! Please, you're the biggest widow I've ever seen! I mean, look at that charm you have in your bag! It's a cool my snack! It's good luck! A snake just like you! I'm not a snake! You should just... You should be like you kill you kid, man. You should just go back to the palace where you came from. You can't survive here. You can't even beat that super present. Stop it! Ari's weird is gonna cry. She thinks she's so perfect quite of the animals! Dot dot dot. Oh man, these voices are making my voice hurt. Go home. They're right, I'm just gonna keep losing out here. I'm not gonna be strong enough. I'm not tough enough. But I don't want to go back. I said I was going to make it out here. I can't lose. My brother told me I would survive. They started advancing on me. I grabbed the papers we were walking on and backpedal from the approaching girls. No, I'm not. I'm staying here. What's going on here? I beat that way. Where's the guy who's rising hand over the blackmail? We'll get rid of the people for you. Get out. I will not tolerate you battering her. Step back, Ralph. That is my fault. I'm not letting anyone fight with my rival. I'm not allowing anyone to blame you for something I forced you to do. I'm trying to help you. So am I. Whatever. Remember <coughs> what we said, Harry. Sorry for babbing. Um, they just walk out almost unnoticed by me. I can't break my gaze from Ruth. Um, uh, you know what? Yeah, blah, blah. you know that I'm right. I'm just a big widow. It's ruining your life. They were mistaken. You are the first real rival. I'm not gonna allow some gas about self deluded girls think they can take that away. Rather, I'm not even in your lake! You almost managed to get me to dress up as a butler for you, Ari. That's the first time I've ever come close to losing in that game. I turn away, trying to break his curious look from his eyes. Back at the palace, I always challenged everybody. I never lost once. Not a single time. Everything I did, I won. I was the best, or so I thought. Now I'm starting to think, was I, was I really? Was I really that good? I prepared to stop my sympathy because I was a one of princess. You are. I've had a lot of fun these past few days. I can't wait for Friday. Because I'm gonna crush my hands to dust. Because I've had a lot of fun competing with you. You're so enthused and passionate. Inspires me to do better. But I it's gotta be a competition! It's gotta be a slaughter! The Covenant. I'm not going to go easy on you. Rah! I'm not cut to them alive! I have no idea how to bang a cat! 
That is your what? Right? Kachow? What? I love it. What? Then, why did you challenge me to do that? Because I want to what? I don't know about a wicked. I see. Ta-da! We cannot have that, my lady. If you will have it, I shall teach you. Ha! Are you doing anything tonight, Ari? Not ready. I'd like to see just how well my trusty maid can cook if she tries. I order you to come over and help me cook dinner. But I just told you that! Yeah, order is an order. Fine, Mata. I'll come over and burn your house down. Then, let's clean up and get going. I'm hungry. Oh, yeah. Hey, look at kitchen. Your house are not clean. My mother and father work long hours, so I tend to end up by myself for hours at a time. I bet you see your father very often, don't see? The Emperor is better, I don't have much time to spend with me or my brother. So I just spend most of my time with either Kachira or Kenta. I like Kenta. He's a good guy. A little hyperactive sometimes, but he always meets well. Can you believe that he's still... That he, that he thinks we look a lot alike? I can see that. I don't understand this. I want to hate Rude, but I'm enjoying his company. I've never had anyone back at the palace who really wanted to compete with me. Spend time with me. Kenda's words are true. We both are... Yeah, we both really are alike. I'm still the smarter one, but he is better. Kinda. Result. Um, I guess we aren't that much alike, but I want to think we are. I want to be more resolved, more determined. I need to be the best if I'm ever going to be queen one day. That makes me... That makes training like this more important. There is no other reason why I want to hang out with Rue. Dot, dot, dot. Why would you like... Me to make your old grandmother. How about a frozen pepperoni pizza? Huh? Too unrefined for your taste. No, I just thought you were gonna ask me to make something extravagant. No, I'm not really in the mood for something extravagant right now. I just want to share a pizza with you and do some study. Some knowledge, huh? If that is what you wish to believe. I take the cheap red box from him and pull out the pizza inside. It's cold to touch. I don't think we can eat like this. So, what do I do with this? There are instructions on the side of the box. I need a pizza pad to put it on. Rue hands me a regular metal pan with holes in the bottom. It must allow the heat to go through easier. The first thing I need to do is put out the oven to 45 degrees. That's just hot. So I should turn it to a hot setting. If that's fucking Celsius, that's ridiculous. Uh, no, that's a stove top burners. Oh! That's a, on the button hit, right? That's for the timer. What? That's this one! 425! Correct. I thought I just put it in a what? You sound so disappointed. Is it really? Is it? I guess I, that's tomorrow battle isn't gonna be as challenging as I thought. What can I say? Uh, what I can't say is that I got stumped by something so simple. I'm going to get cream tomorrow. Um, I can't get that thought out of... Uh, what? Okay. Um, have you ever put a frozen pizza in before? So, nothing. You aren't missing much. I start to wonder just how much I'm missing. Cheer up. I don't like my servants looking so sad. We rush with the pizza to cook in silence. I want to tell him that I don't know. I I don't know what I'm feeling right now. It's done. Let me get it out. Now that's my job. <laughs> 